Hey everybody, it's Brad. I've got a Masterworks 3 video for you today. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn to create a knockdown stitch the hard way. Um, and it's the hard way because there's another program, Embroidery Works, that does it a really, really, really easy way. Um, but uh, what's a knockdown stitch? It's when you're sewing on something with a nap, like a, like a terry cloth towel or something like that, that you would normally use a water-soluble stabilizer you put on there to keep the stitches from sinking down into the nap. If you use a knockdown stitch, what happens is it will knock down the, the nap of the towel or whatever it is that you're embroidering on, and uh, it'll give you a much flatter surface. Uh, to embroider on. So how do you do that? Well, in Masterworks 3, um, you would have a design. So in this case, let's say we're using a text design. Um, I'm just going to do a single letter. Uh, bring in our text with our text tool here. Click somewhere in the design field. Uh, I'm just going to do a capital letter M. Hit apply here. Uh, and what font you have, it doesn't really matter. You just do whatever it is that you're going to do. So I'm monogramming a letter M onto something, and that's what I want to do. So here's my letter. If I take this and I sew this out on the towel, um, oops, I didn't mean to move it that way. If I take this and sew it out on the towel, uh, then these stitches are going to sink into the nap of the towel, and it's not going to look very good. Um, so uh, another good thing to sew to, to use this knockdown stitch on is if you're embroidering on one of those embroiderable stuffed animals or one of those embroiderable uh, Christmas stockings, those all have the exact same problem where um, the stitch has to be, uh, you have to use some kind of water soluble or something. Uh, and if you do the knockdown stitch, it makes a huge difference. So here's how we do it. Uh, you just have to trace the outside of the letter, but you don't trace like we were copying from a backdrop. You want to trace it kind of far away. Uh, so I'm going to use the, um, the straight line tool. Actually, what I'll use is the, the three-click curve tool. No, I'll use the straight line tool. I'll use the straight line tool, and then um, I'll hold down the control key because I want this to be kind of a curve. So I'm holding down control, and you just kind of follow the contour of your letter like this, and then I'll close the shape up here. Okay, so I've got it going around the outside of the letter. I'm going to right-click. That's going to generate my line. And uh, what I have to do is take this and apply a fill, okay, standard fill, and then we're going to change the density from 0.4 to 1, leave the stitch length at 3.5, and then hit um, apply, then go to the underlay and click on where it says perpendicular. You're going to turn off all the underlay altogether and hit apply, okay. Then you're going to go up to the reform tool up here in the corner, and if you see where we've got this, this like black barbell going across here, it's hard to see because it's a black line going across this blue line. But see these black dots? We want to move one of them up so that our stitch direction, this is our inclination. We want to change this so that it's at like about a 45 degree angle and then right click. Okay. Now, if we uh, go back to the select tool, we can see that um, and we'll put this in 3D. We see that we've actually got this on top of our letter, which is the opposite of what we want. We want this to be on uh, behind our letter. So we're going to go and look in our sequence view, grab your letter, click and drag it on top of the fill, and there you go. And it doesn't have to be a letter. It can be anything that you're embroidering. Um, and what you want to do is you want to look at whatever it is you're going to embroider on, your towel or whatever, and um, change the color of the knockdown stitch, which is what this is going to be. This is going to be the knockdown stitch. And so say if I'm embroidering on a white towel, I make it white. Um, and then you have your letter, whatever color you want your letter to be. Um, and so the important thing is that you match the knockdown stitch to the color of whatever you're embroidering on so that it, it kind of blends into the background. And what's going to happen is this is going to embroider on top of this knockdown stitch instead of on the, the nap of the fibers um, from the, uh, the towel that you're sewing on. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to look much nicer because this is all going to be knocked down rather than being sunk down into the nap of the towel. And even when you use the water-soluble stabilizer, a lot of the times, uh, after it's been washed a few times, the design doesn't look as good anymore. And this actually will look good. Um, so um, that's pretty much it. We just go and file, save as. We want to make sure that we save this somewhere that we know where it is. So I'll put it in, um, uh, let's see, we'll put it in my documents folder here. Uh, we'll name it M Knockdown. Make sure we save it as both a BLF and a PES. Okay, I'm going to hit save. And there we go. We've got my design saved. I'm going to go sew it out. I'll take a picture of it. You can see what it looks like when you sew it out with a knockdown stitch. 
So that's it. Um, I'm going to very shortly put up a video on how to do a knockdown stitch the easy way, which is using embroidery works. But if you don't have embroidery works, you can do this, uh, and it'll, it'll do a very similar thing. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.